So probably looking at me, you think, well, you probably think a lot of things, but you probably think, wow, beautiful light. That's going to be a fantastic sunset. There's not a damn cloud in the sky. Well, there's maybe one. So while it may be a beautiful evening to watch, I don't think it's going to make much of an image. But what sort of photographer would I be when it's the sun is shining in Northern Ireland? It happens once every 14 years and it didn't come out. So we're going to wander down. I've just stayed local because, again, I don't think it's going to be much caught, but we'll give it a bit of a go. Right, let's do this. Sunset is in 50 minutes. So we've got to get down, find a spot, get set up. Clicky, click, click. Let's go. So as I thought, it's going to be Delta's dishwater. So down here in Port Stewart, um, the, the old nunnery, monastery, whatever. Yeah, there's just nothing in the sky. I mean, there's... There's maybe some clouds that way, but I think this is going to be one where we just sit and watch it, but I might get set up anyway. Clouds, we want clouds. When is a beautiful sunset? Not a beautiful sunset when you're a photographer. I'm thinking the only way I'm going to make something work here is if I get down low to the to the water and increase my shutter speed. Because right now it's all it is is me. Yeah. Maybe I should just go get ice cream. Oh, to the water's edge perhaps as well. Trouble is, go down the water's edge, once the sun goes down. Alright, oh, I've come down to the water's edge. I have a three stop ND grad and a 10 stop ND on F11 ISO 200 um, about 2 minutes 10 seconds according to my cheat sheet still don't think it's going to be much pop, but so what we have going on here is there's a little bit of reflection uh, off the cliff face in the water which a long exposure may highlight and then of course you still have the light on the on the rocks the sun is setting behind me so I'm not quite sure whether this will work or not but and I'm pretty sure there was just a little mini earthquake right here because it really felt like this rock was moving very localized of course but Anyway, I think that's us quite now, nice, so see what we have. You know, it's not bad. Can you slightly with the sun? Probably not too much. Anyway, not too bad. Um, so obviously what's happening is we're losing the light. So I, I calculated my exposure for 2 minutes 10 seconds. But obviously in that 2 minutes, because we really are approaching that critical uh, moment of the sun disappearing, not on the horizon, but it's actually disappearing behind the cliffs in Donegal. Um, obviously we're losing light, so me having the shutter speed open, or the shutter open for two minutes, 
it's probably lost maybe about another 30 seconds to the abnormal. That. So just remember that whenever you're calculating your long exposures. If the light is changing rapidly, be it at sunset or sunrise, you'll probably need to compensate for that by adding additional time onto your exposure for sunset or potentially removing some at sunrise or playing about with your aperture stroke ISO um, to, to get the desired shutter speed. So I'm going to keep this open now for three minutes. Really happy with the, the background in that last exposure but the foreground probably could have done with just a little bit of rising up. Um, and I even had clouds above the building. And the fact that these, these waves were kind of doing their funkiness, that may have helped this exposure as well. So, anyway. Might not be a waste after all. Okay. So we really have come down to proper water's edge now. Sun is just disappearing behind this little outcrop. See, we have clouds. Not too many clouds going that way, unfortunately, but we have clouds going this way. Try on another a one minute exposure. Just trying to see the, the sun kissing the top of the, those rocks. A little bit of reflection on the water. And take a little gander in. So that's a one minute exposure. <laughs> Not quite sure I'll never see the light of day, but it's fun to try. I really like how the reflections of the, the last of the light is on the water. Sadly though we didn't get the um, the clouds. Right, try one more composition. So the sun has now set, well, visibly set for me. What I was hoping for was as the sun went down, this bank of clouds started to take on a little bit of colour. And of course, light has been taken away from all of the foreground here. But a two, two and a half minute exposure, a little bit of light in those pinky clouds may give us something, but it's not really developing. So, I think I got maybe one shot from tonight, the one that was looking back onto the, the building. Anyway, it's been nice to come out, finish the day off. It's been a long day, up at 4 a.m. this morning. Six mile run, dime bar. I might even reward myself with a cheeky beer. All right guys, I'll throw up some images after the event or after this uh, short video. Hope you enjoyed it again. And um, as always, subscribe, click the like, click whatever you need to do. Um, I think I need to ramble a bit more uh, with my rambling sort of users. So watch out for those comments in as well. I'm just watching this kind of relaxed. Let's just see how this... I've left this one going for three minutes. What I said earlier with the light fading, it was telling me two minutes thirty. I said three minutes. Nah, there's just nothing going on in those clouds. Which is a shame. Next time. Next time. See you later. Bye bye.